It was a warm summer night and Emily and her friends had decided to explore an abandoned mansion on the outskirts of town. They had heard rumors of strange occurrences happening inside the old house but they were all eager to see for themselves. As they made their way through the overgrown garden and approached the grand entrance, Emily felt a chill run down her spine. The door creaked open as they pushed it and they stepped into a musty foyer, their flashlights illuminating the dark and dusty room. Suddenly, they heard a whisper coming from upstairs. Emily's heart began to race as they slowly climbed the staircase. The whisper grew louder and louder until they reached the top of the stairs and found themselves in a long, dark hallway. The walls were lined with portraits of stern-faced people, their eyes following the group as they made their way down the hallway. The whispering grew louder and Emily realized that it was coming from one of the rooms at the end of the hall. As they approached the room, Emily could feel her heart pounding in her chest. She reached out to push the door open, but it wouldn't budge. Suddenly, the whispering stopped and the room fell silent. Emily's friends tried to reassure her that it was just the wind or their imaginations, but she knew that that something was off. They decided to explore the rest of the mansion, but every room they entered seemed to be empty and abandoned. As they made their way back to the foyer, they heard a noise coming from the shadows. Suddenly, they were surrounded by a group of ghostly figures, their eyes glowing red in the darkness. Emily and her friends screamed and ran, but the ghosts pursued them relentlessly. They chased them through the mansion, their ghostly forms passing through walls and doors as if they weren't even there. Finally, Emily and her friends stumbled out of the mansion and collapsed on the ground outside, gasping for breath. They looked back at the mansion, but it was silent and still once again. Emily knew that they had unleashed something terrifying inside the old house, and she couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched, even as they made their way back home. She knew that they had opened a door to a world of horrors that they could never close again.